Hello, welcome. Today we have a VOD review on Gibraltar. It looks like a gold level match. Uh, this person's playing Farah. This person's actually a friend of mine. They asked me to do a review for their um, for, for this video. Um, so I just started watching it for the first like 30 to 45 seconds and I was just gonna give them quick tips. But then I then I stopped and I thought, you know, actually this, I could make a, a pretty decent VOD review out of this. So um, let's get into it. One, attack comments. So I like that, that they're going this route on the left side. Um, Farah is really good at applying pressure. She is so, so good at that. So um, I, what I would like for this player to do is actually to go far left and poke. Uh, instead, he's gonna go forward uh, and kind of abandon this angle, which makes me a little sad, but it, it can still work. So you're just looking to put pressure, put pressure, 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 pressure. Good, shooting the Ryan shield. And already you can see their end is actually pretty good. Yeah, she tagged Farah three times. Um, so already this Farah is drawing pressure, which is great. Um, again, I'd want this Farah to go left, but she decides to go forward. Oops. Okay, so this Farah player doesn't have a Mercy, and the opponent Farah does have a Mercy. So uh, if you were like a super sick uh, Farah and you wanted to get into a duel um, without a Mercy, I would say go for it, but you, you know, if you're at like gold or platinum level, your your aim's probably not up to par, and and it, it is actually really hard um, to to do this kind of dueling um, even at higher levels. So um, so yeah, so what I would recommend at this level is to just go for the safe, uh, surefire uh, pressure, which is to shoot at uh, their backline, and when you don't have an angle to shoot at their backline, shoot at the Rhine shield. So. The optimal way to play this, in this situation, in, in my opinion, is to go to get that far left area and then just pressure with rockets. Just be throwing rockets down, just downtown. And and far is really good about she, she can play she can she can apply a lot of pressure from an angle without without taking a lot of damage, um, just because she can fly um, and you know get these really kind of uh, these good angles. Um, due to her her mobility, um, yeah. So so this player is going like it kind of feels like he doesn't quite know he doesn't quite know what he should do or what he wants to do, and you can kind of tell. Um, this is good. This is exactly what I want this player to be doing. Oops, sorry about that. Did that mess up the? Oh, it did. Let's move this back a bit. How's that? Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is what I want. Um, I like. It looked like he was kind of shooting at the top of the Rhine shield. I wanted him to be shooting just a little bit more behind. And again, I want him to be using the, this cover here, like this this wall. He should be playing with this wall as much as possible. He goes way too far forward this way. Yeah, way way too far. There's no need to be going this deep. Um, So again, it just kind of feels like he doesn't quite know what he should be doing, and he just kind of keeps going back and forth and not really, not really getting a whole lot done. If he had just stayed on that left side and kept shooting rockets, he would have eventually dislodged them and make them go backwards. Instead, he's giving up a ton of pressure um, and, and a, just a ton of space. And as Farah, she can create a ton of space for her team. Uh, I don't mind this so much. This is a little bit dangerous, I think. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so again, um, uh, he needs a little bit of practice with his aim. That's okay. But again, that whole time, I, wa I wanted him on that left side just constantly throwing rockets, and he would have been ten times more effective. Um, looks like his team picks up a kill here, so that's good, good. That's good there. So right now, because it's a 65, uh, actually, yeah, let me look at the kill feed. Yeah, it looks like that's the only kill that's happened. Uh, so yeah, so now the, the, his team's ahead, so he can get aggressive here. Um, good, he, he dodges the diva ult. That's great. You, you can you can hear a McCree, uh, so you got to respect that McCree. Um, again, um, positionally. Uh, I, 
I, I do want him to be aggressive because at that point it was a 6v5. Now it looks like it's going to be a 5v4. Um, but I'd much prefer this far player to be like in this general vicinity. Uh, uh, yeah, like over here. Kind of just like this general area shooting from above. It looks like he was kind of going for a flank, but there was there was really no need to do that. As soon as the diva ult um, went, went, went off, he could have just immediately shot back up and just continue uh, firing down. So there's a lot of downtime here when he could have been putting out damage, but he was not. And you can already kind of see the difference. Their, their far already um, had barrage, and it's actually not that hard to get barrage this quickly in a match. So being at 34%, it kind of just shows you that he wasn't really prioritizing the right targets, and that's because he wasn't positioning himself properly. But you have a nice flank angle here, so you got to make the most of this opportunity, and you got to be going for, for kills. Like, you should absolutely be getting a, a kill here. Oh, come on, you can do it. So close. Oh, wait, was that a misplay? Hold on. Oh, and you still had rockets, uh, so uh, you got you got to be able to get that kill. But that's just a you know a mechanical issue, so we'll ignore that. Nice, nice, you got the kill. Okay, now you got to boop this Reinhardt forward. If you if you if you land your rocket like in this area, um, that'll move him towards the payload, and your team can more easily clean him up. Uh, it looks like you guys have a free kill here though, so you're probably gonna get this kill no problem. Nice. nice. <laughs> Get the mercy. There you go. Yeah, so your aim does need a ton of work, but again, we'll, we'll let that slide. Get that mercy, get the mercy. Um, you actually could burn barrage here, especially if you don't trust your aim. Um, I. I normally don't recommend you doing like crutch plays where you use uh, abilities in a way where it kind of hides your uh, your flaws. Um, but uh, I wouldn't mind a barrage here, given that your aim is not so great yet. So yeah. Um, but to be fair, this Zarya plus your rockets should be enough to finish him off. Or not. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, I don't like. No, actually, no, this is fine. You, you're you're going to chase him down, and you're going to start flanking. This is actually totally acceptable. Uh, again, you, you can just rocket him. You can just go above him and then rocket him, and then look to your left for any other stragglers to kill. Okay, good. So I think what, what you could have done is, like, right... Right here, you could have, you could have um, just floated up a little bit, Tagged him with the rocket plus barrage that'll kill him instantly. Then you turn around and then throw your barrage this way. Uh, I would have liked to see a play like that. And, and similarly, earlier when I said to use your barrage on soldier, you could have you know done the same thing and then turned around and 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 thrown your barrage at the Reinhard or whatever. So, so you, you can barrage here. Um, now I want to know if it's possible or not. Actually, you know what? So, like, right, right, oh, darn, sorry, stupid thing, DVD player, no thanks, uh, darn, missed it again, right there, right there, uh, maybe, maybe like a, a half second later, you could have, uh, left click this Anna, Q, you get an easy, you get a quick kill on Anna, and you probably kill, uh, Reinhardt, then you'll probably die to D.Va and whoever else is coming, but it probably would have been a worth play. Uh, yeah. Cool. Actually, I like that you were reserving your Q there. In that situation, it was good for you to hold on to your Q because you would have just died immediately, I think, to Soldier. Okay, you get killed, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, your team, they don't have it yet. <laughs> oh darn. You can counter Q. You can Q right now. Uh, let's see, hold on. I don't like that. So this is the second time I've seen you reload prematurely. So I need you to be a little bit more careful about when you're reloading. Again, looks like you're reloading after three shots. Actually, I think it's been three shots every time. Justice. 
It looks like you didn't left click. You have to left. You always have to lead your cues with the left click. Oh, they held it. That sucks. I need healing. I was dead. So you're just poking, 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 this is fine. Yeah, you, oh, you have a, a mercy now. <laughs> Oops. So, um, one thing I like to do in situations like this is to look for an angle where I can separate the Reinhardt from his team. So, in this case, that would be like roughly... Roughly like right here, and you boop his enemy team back, and you boop him forward, and that sometimes allows your team to get like a nice angle on Reinhardt, and and you know and and uh, mess him up, and you know and then for you you can decide okay can I should I attack the Reinhardt or should I attack his team, um, and that that can usually open up some opportunities, and I don't think I've seen you do I don't think I've seen you do that once this game, but it's a it's a really good uh, way to use her 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 rocket um, or her her E. Uh, another thing you can use it for is to dislodge any soldiers that are up here in this area, um, but I haven't really seen that very often. There was that one time, but you actually, you just straight up killed him, so obviously that's better. Oh, your team's just dying. Okay, so I'm guessing you guys lose this here. Uh, so to wrap up, um, there's just, you know, a lot of um, things you're gonna have to clean up about your game, like reloading too early. Um, you had some. You just need to improve your aim overall. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I need you, especially in the beginning. I needed you to pick a spot and then pressure the enemy team from that spot. Just you know, just constantly, just keep keep pounding them, and eventually they will move. You know, assuming that your team is being productive and and just like like a little bit productive. Um, and yeah, so. Focus on those things, um, and then with time, you'll you'll start to see opportunities um, when the fight starts to devolve into like a three v three or four v four or five v four, four v five, and then you'll recognize, okay, now it's time to get aggressive and go in, or or, or just to like back off. Um, but I want you to practice that um, the idea of of um, pressuring your opponents from from one side, and then just keep keep just keep slowly pushing them forward, pushing them forward. Um, it works really well. I, I love I, I love Farah on this map. I think she's pretty effective here. Um, okay, cool. I hope this video was helpful.